it's, it's awesome. I, I've been coming here now for like, I think this is my third one. And then I did the marathon challenge last year, so. And my family, I have family that lives in Buford. So uh, kind of like we hang out in Orlando a lot. So this is really good. I hope they got to watch and be proud. So this is awesome. So what is the toughest part of uh, the whole race here? You say what? What is the toughest part of the, about the race? The what? What is the toughest part about the race? Um, I think just the whole thing, man. It's like, you know, you got a lot of elites that are really good and talented. And like, you're trying to just see how you do well. You know, you make a move, they make a move. And then you got all these hills. You know, in Atlanta, it's not like sea level. It's like a thousand feet. Like, overall, it's just a very challenging race, but like, I feel like for a road race, that's fun because you get the downhills, the uphills, and it just brings the best out of you. And how does it feel to be around people this year other than last year that we didn't, we didn't have that opportunity? I, I love it. It's just, you know, after you know, sitting out last year because of the pandemic, we come out here and we see people on the streets. And even us, we get an opportunity to run. That's why I came out of retirement, you know, to represent some of the people that, you know, they need the motivation. We needed the motivation. So thank you, Atlanta, for hosting this race. Finally, how does it feel to be a winner here in Atlanta? It's amazing, man. Like, whenever I win a race, I don't really know what to say because, like, you just walk, work, walk, and then sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. But, like, it just feels good. You just feel like it all is well. Tell me your training regimen about being here. What's that? Tell me about your training regimen. Uh, I just came home training with the Olympic trials. So, I've done a lot of, you know, endurance speed. So, I knew coming in that I, I have a little bit of speed and, like, Coming out of the trials, you know, the only guy ahead of me was Dylan Ruff. Who was number six? I was number eight. So I kind of like, I was staying behind him to watch him. And then whenever he didn't come, you know, the race just played out differently. And overall, I, I think this is just it was a fun race. We actually had a lot, a lot of talent today. We got a lot, a lot of good things. This is a really big win for you. How does it feel? Um, it's just. For me, it means a lot because, like, when I left in 2018, I was just representing, you know, my company and like myself, my family. But now, my my crew has grown a lot. I represent a lot of people from my youth down in Florida. You know, I work for Seven Speed Forces, you know, that those guys, and they're watching, and it's just it's a whole different level. Like when I go back to work on Tuesday, I know that a lot of people are gonna be just following me around. But it's just an honor to, to bring like, because a lot of people, like me and you are used to track and like Olympics and things like that, but like the, the soldiers that I work with, they haven't really seen or worked with somebody that's bad. And so I get that honor and privilege to like walk around them on the range and just talk about like running stuff and they ask questions. It's really awesome. I'm glad I, you know, we're doing that.